Hey, what's going on guys? First you're here back with another video and if you couldn't tell already I even got the clan tag matching it, but I just hit level 200 in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 I took advantage. Oh, I mean I didn't really take advantage at all, but I got into one game TDM I joined in late I dropped 26 kills first game on and I got 20,000 XP for the TDM and that got me to level 200 so I just hit it. It's not like the last one where I was at 100 where I was level 109 when I did it, which I'm not going to do anymore. But this is the second episode of that little semi-series that I did. This is supposed to be 10 episodes. Hopefully, by the end of this game, I get to level 1,000. Honestly, at this pace, I'm not really too sure, but I guess we're just going to have to see when we get there. But I just hit level 200. I'm going to be showing you guys my stats in this video. So if we go straight into my barracks, you will see... My KD has improved, my score per minute I'm pretty sure has improved, I got a Brutal which I'll talk about in a second, and I also have 56,000 kills now, obviously more kills wins and score. Alright, so KD ratio 1.65, still, I mean it's, it's not like some A1 KD ratio, but um, in pubs I do a lot of different things, I go for different challenges, I am trying to get the 100%er challenge complete, which I will show you guys in my challenges in just a second. But win loss 0.89. I'm not sure if that went up or down. I don't really care too much about my win loss and pubs at all. If there's like some crazy, stupid game I get put into where the enemy team has like wraps and a hater and I have two teammates, I'm obviously gonna leave that game. Who wants to play that? Like, that's just the game's fault for throwing me in that game. So I would obviously leave that game. Sometimes when I'm going off, my teammates suck and they get a hater, and I'm the only one getting kills, but like they just keep feeding them streaks. I'll leave some games like that. That's why my that's why my win loss isn't too hot. But the KD ratio has improved since the last episode. It's just been improving over time. If you guys want to see what I mean when I say improved, I will have a link down in the description of my last stat video at level 100. Where you can pretty much compare my stats if that's something you guys want to do. Win loss 0.84, score per minute 466. You can obviously see the kills wins the score. I'm going to cycle through my weapons real quick because this is what I did in the last one. Here are my top three VMP Mano Kuda. I'm not really even sure how the Kuda's up there. I'm going to scroll pretty fast. There's 61 weapons. They just keep adding these new weapons. There's so many I don't have. I'm not even too worried about it because I don't use any of the melee weapons. Like I, I haven't used that, 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 I haven't used that, I haven't used any of those. But as of specialist, my favorite is battery, I love using kinetic armor. Just look at that specialist character, that truly is a beast right there. I'm going to show you guys, I actually have gotten hero gear since my last stat video. These are what my specialist characters look like, I keep them pimped out. I'm either using Hero or DLC on, I think, every single one of them. I'm very good with the Rogue ability. I average 6 kills with it per game, usually without overclock. So, I guess you could say that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep cycling through them real quick so you guys can see them. And then I'll show you the ones that I got Hero gear for in just a second. So, I think that's it. Oh, there's Rejack. Or, not even. His name is... Nomad. I honestly have not used Nomad since I got him done for Hero Gear. That is all of the specialists. I'm going to go into score streaks real quick. My favorite score streak combo to use when I'm not going for a challenge is Wraith, Raps, and either Cerberus, Hater. Sometimes I switch it up. I've been using the Guardian recently because I'm trying to get that challenge done. Which I honestly can't stand. I don't recommend you use the Guardian unless you're like trying to play an objective or something. But Wraith, Serby, Raps, that's usually what I use. I might change the Cerberus for a Hater, or I might change it for a Hellstorm, or a Sentry, or a, even a Talon. A Talon is very effective for going on high streaks. But those are my score streaks. I haven't really used the Power Core that much. I've only used it to get the challenges for it. Obviously, I'm not going to be running a care package. HCXD, I think I did that just for a challenge, but those are my score streaks. Equipment, I've told you guys in every single stat video I've ever done, I do not use equipment. I don't even remember using this. This was back when I was like not even prestige when I had to use the default class. So that's when I used this. 
Honestly, I have 22 uses of a frag, and I have like 50 something thousand kills. That just shows you how many times I have four kills with a frag grenade, and I've been playing this game for approximately 10 days. So, yeah, that just goes to show how much I use equipment in this game. But those are my pub stats. Real quick, let me show you my game modes. Like I said before, I do not try to get a whole bunch of wins and stuff. That's not what I like to do. I mean, obviously, if I'm in a pub, like Hardpoint or something, and it's a close game, I'll play the hill just to get a, like the free dub, the free crypto keys. But like, I'm not gonna sit in a hill on like Newtown Hardpoint the whole time and let my teammates just slay. That's usually what I like to do: is slay outside the hill. I like to hold down the area of the hill, but I don't like to sit in it because then I'm just going to get hit by a whole bunch of stuns and stuff like that. And I don't usually run flak or tag mask because I would rather use other stuff on my classes, which is why I don't usually hug objectives in objective game modes. But now hopping into arena, I have two days, nine hours played. I'm a rank 10, 1.28 KD ratio, which is really garbage, but when I first started playing arena, I just messed around with stuff and I tried to like use new tactics in it just to get a feel for stuff which is why that's not too hot. My win loss is also pretty pretty down down low with a 1.2. Then kills 6,000 wins 200. I'm just rounding these. You guys actually see the numbers are right in front of you. But deadliest weapon. I'm a sub player. I love to use the VMP. M8 is my secondary. The mano is also really good. The best spear I used when it was pre-patched, like when the game first came out. These are my other weapons. A lot of zeros over there. Trophies are the only equipment that I usually would use in arena, just because of like they can hold down objectives in like hard point. You can hold down a bomb site in S and D. That's the only time I'll ever be using trophies. I don't really use EMPs. I only use them to take out like surveys and stuff in hard point. As of score streaks. HC I use a lot in S&D, which I do play a lot of. Serbies I use in Hardpoint and CTF and Uplink and respawn game modes like that. And then you got the Lightning. I only use the counter of UAV when they like ban a Lightning or something, just because if you're gonna ban the Lightning, I'm gonna have to use something else, which is why I would use a counter UAV. I don't use them if that isn't the case, because that's kind of a douche move in my opinion, since they are banned in both game battles and UMG. So I don't usually run them just because of that. But if people do take out something, I will just slap it on there. Here are my specialists. Now, as of um, game modes, I have S and D top because that's what I always get placed in. Unfortunately, I don't even like S and D. I'm more of a variant player. Then I have uplink, hardpoint, and CTF following. And one of the other things about my arena stats is that this is not the account that I take arena seriously in. If you guys didn't know, I'm going to be putting up a new series very soon to my channel where I'm going for Masters with my friend on a whole nother account. I've gone through that a few more times. I have one on stream a f like a little bit back on my channel that I will put in the description below if you guys do want to see that. And I think I have another video of Arena going for something also from back in the past. But this is not the account that I take seriously for that. This is just the account that I mess around with. It was the first one that I made. And then let's go into medals real quick. I have one brutal, and the reason I didn't upload the gameplay I got the brutal in was because I was going for a challenge. I was going for headshots with an LMG, and I was literally sitting top house, like top blue house in uh, Nuketown Hardpoint, and it was just really bad. I was literally just sitting there the whole time. I had a guardian on because I was going for that challenge. I was pretty much going for a bunch of challenges. And I didn't even realize I was on a brutal streak until I saw like the relentless pop up and then I got the brutal. And I literally went on like a 29 gun streak and then I ran out of bullets in my LMG. I had to pick up a CUDA that had like 7 bullets in it and I got overrun by like 3 people that were out to get me since I kept t like killing them off spawn over and over again. So that's why I didn't get a nuclear. I mean, I didn't even expect the brutal. It was very like out of nowhere to me when I got it. I've had the Ultra, I think I've had the Megas. I got a few Relentlesses since the last video. I'll, I mean, I got a few Quad Feeds as well. I get like Ruthlesses and Mercesses, like, usually on the daily if I play. Obviously, Bloodthirsty is where they at 2,500. Those come like every other life. So, those are my medals there. 
here are my specialist medals and I'm just gonna kind of fly through these ones because I'm not sure if anyone even really cares about them but I just like to throw everything in there in case you guys do care so I don't miss something that you guys will get upset about but that is pretty much all of these stats in my barracks now real quick looking at my challenges I have 67% complete like I said I was going for the 100 percenter in my score streaks I'm very close to completing I completed all of the ground assault and for air assault I have everything that I could do but literally this challenge is so hard because you don't have teammates that run a mothership and even when you do you have to be the first one to go in it or else you can't do it so this is a pain in the neck to complete for support I literally only had the power core challenge and um, a guardian challenge which is what I was working on and then return fire I haven't really gone for these ones too much I'll go for these later so those are score streaks prestige I'm not really getting too much of this either I was going for combat efficiency I can do this whenever I want I just have been putting it off because I've been doing other stuff and then here I could get this one pretty easily too I haven't been completely devoting my time to it it's just something on the side that I wanted to complete as something cool I'm very close to having all of specialists done all I need is this one calling car which again is pretty difficult because you don't usually find people using a special stability when you like have time to EMP them that's just kind of challenging at least for me it is and then over here in operations these are what I have as far as dark ops I have brutal killer super killer frenzy ultra mega finish the job and that's it I'm like I think I'm what how many relentless medals did I have let me check real quick I have five relentless medals so I'm five more Relentless Metals away from getting the Relentless Killer Dark Ops calling card. I would have had the Nuclear calling card, but I choked it. And then there's all these ones down here that I could do. I'm definitely not going to get that one calling card because I'm not going to be resetting my stats. That's just not something that I will do. If I would have done it, I would have done it like a long time ago before I got this much progression on this account. But that's going to do it for all my challenges. And that is also going to do it for my multiplayer stats. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you do like these types of videos, let me know by leaving a like. Also, subscribe to me on my channel if you guys are new. I'm on the road to 200 subscribers. And until next time, guys, I am out.